What does apple cider vinegar have to do with diabetes when medications, diet, and exercise are the main diabetes management tools? Well, you'll be surprised how this simple product can benefit in controlling your blood sugar levels. But of course, it's not all roses. ACV can also have some side effects that you truly wouldn't want. So let's talk about all of this today. Apple cider vinegar is made in a two-step fermentation process. Firstly, apples are crushed and combined with yeast to convert sugar into alcohol. Second, bacteria are added to ferment the alcohol into acetic acid. And specifically, acetic acid in ACV may contribute to health benefits. And it does that in several ways. Lowers blood sugar levels, decreases insulin levels, boosts metabolism, increases fat burning, and reduces appetite. Does all of that. Okay, so when you have diabetes, you have a lot riding on your blood sugar levels. You know that diabetes management is mainly based on physical activity and a healthy diet. But surprisingly, apple cider vinegar can also be included in reducing blood sugar levels. Let's see what research says about it. All right, so one study that was published in the Diabetes Care Journal looked into how ACV can help manage blood sugar levels in type 2 diabetes. It showed that consuming two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar before bedtime reduces fasting blood sugar by 4% the following morning. Another research shows that consuming vinegar after a high carb meal can improve insulin sensitivity by as much as 19 to 34 percent and significantly reduce blood sugar levels. One more study involved patients with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It found that while drinking two tablespoons of ACV after a meal demonstrated a slight reduction in post-meal blood sugar levels, the results weren't remarkably significant. Looking at all these studies, we can say that apple cider vinegar can positively influence the health of a person with diabetes. However, experts agree that there's a need for further studies to determine ACV's effects on blood sugar control, and it should not be used as a replacement for diabetes medications. Now let's head to another important benefit of ACV for diabetes, weight loss. Let's make it clear here. When you have diabetes, there are huge benefits to losing weight if you're overweight or obese. Also, being obese is a risk factor for diabetes. You'll have more energy, reduce your risk of serious complications like heart disease and stroke, and will help manage your condition more easily. Of course, the best way to lose weight is by exercising and investing in a healthy diet. But there are other means you can consider when looking to lose weight. And surprise, surprise, some studies link apple cider vinegar with weight loss. One study showed that consuming apple cider vinegar can result in effective weight loss during a 12-week period. In this study, people took one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar diluted in water every day, and they lost an average of four pounds each, as well as visceral body fat. Now, this is the kind of fat that's really difficult to lose and harmful to your body. Therefore, such findings are super exciting. But you may ask, what does apple cider vinegar actually do that makes you start losing weight? Well, firstly, apple cider vinegar increases satiety, which can decrease calorie intake. Secondly, apple cider vinegar improves and activates your digestion. Thirdly, ACV helps boost metabolism, which leads to reducing fat storage. Okay, so how should you use apple cider vinegar? There are a few ways to include apple cider vinegar in your diet. You can use it with olive oil as a salad dressing. It's especially tasty with leafy greens, cucumbers, and tomatoes. But the easiest way is to mix it into water. Just add one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar into a glass of water, stir it up, and drink it. Remember, you don't want to take any shots of apple cider vinegar straight from the bottle. Because of vinegar's acidic compounds, it should always be mixed. Otherwise, you risk side effects like tooth enamel erosion and drug interactions. Now, talking about side effects, what are they besides the possible tooth enamel erosion? First of all, ACV can be truly damaging for type 1 diabetes patients with gastroparesis. It's a condition when the stomach muscles can't push digested food down the digestive tract, so food stays in the stomach too long. And apple cider vinegar may slow the rate at which food leaves the stomach. This may worsen symptoms of gastroparesis and make blood sugar level control more difficult. 
Secondly, ACV may interact with your medications. These include diabetes medication, heart disease drugs, as well as diuretics. And thirdly, apple cider vinegar may also cause your potassium levels to drop too low. Your muscles and nerves need that nutrient to work the way they should. Now, the medical name for low potassium is hypokalemia. Moderate or severe hypokalemia can cause muscle weakness and paralysis, which can affect many parts of the body. Okay guys, so now you know the benefits and possible side effects of apple cider vinegar. And what you have to do now is talk to your doctor before including this product in your diet. Now watch these next videos on the Clinio channel and see you next time.